I have been a victim of emotional neglect. My father's a pastor, but he did not know how to love me as a daughter. He didn't, you don't know what you don't know. So he didn't, he lacked the skills, the tools to be able to love me. So I went through the name calling, the psychological abuse, the using the word till I'm based. You, I am your father. You honor your, you honor me. You, you don't say no to me. All the things that go along with that from that stemmed resulted in seeking validation in men, seeking wow. being people pleasing. All the mindsets you talked about, you helped me to connect the dots. Woo! The Holy Spirit led me to you. I had never heard of wow. you. I just happened to be on YouTube one time and I said, what is this? You were you had a prayer, you had a testimony that you met your husband in five months. Yeah. And then there was another thing where you prayed. And when you were praying, uh oh, look, at, uh, I'm seeing chats. Hold on. When you were praying, I placed my hand on my belly. I placed my hand on myself and I just received what you were praying. And I immediately sent it to my best friend and said, We've got to do this. It was non negotiable. The thing, mm -hmm. this has been, this is everything I need in, 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 and I want more of it. The, wow. Some of the things that really helped helped revolutionize me in, in such in such a great way. You helped me to connect the dots between my previous experiences of emotional neglect. Now, mind you, I've already gone through deliverance, you know, uh, uh, from because I go to a word of faith church. So it may, it was very clear to me years ago that I had been through psychological neglect. But listening to the program, Irresistible Woman, helped me, helped me to connect the dots from those previous experiences of emotional neglect. And the importance of continuing to pull down strongholds, those mindset, mm -hmm. limitation mindset, you can't just pray one time and then just forget about it. Like I have to keep closing those doors to the enemy and taking authority. So the limitation mindset was so, so real to me, the instant gratification mm -hmm. where I, I often would say, I want to do this, but I don't have enough. I want to do this, but I don't know if I can. I want to do this, but I don't talk well. All the things that came to my surface I just love that first th th that first session helped me to really connect the dots. And then you talked about praying for the right mindset, the abundance mindset, the success mindset, the growth mindset, the nurturing mindset. So constantly now I try to make sure that I incorporate so many things to pray. I can't keep up, but <laughs> I try to make sure I incorporate <laughs> those things in my prayer. Also, when you said know your wife for marriage, and does your why connect to God's why? I had never, I had never heard that. People say your season of singleness should be time to spend time with God. What in the world does that mean? I understand spend time in the word, spend time in the prayer, but no one had ever given me practical strategies of how to make sure that, you know, people say prepare, prepare, be, look, uh, look forward to being a, a, a Proverbs 31 woman. What does that mean? other than what I see in the word. So just, I've never asked God, well, what is your wife for marriage? I would say things like, I want to be married for, I want to be kingdom wife. I want kingdom marriage. I want, I want to further the kingdom of God. But honestly, I don't, I don't know what was God's wife for marriage, except when you said that. The other thing that you said, you quoted a scripture, the irresistible, the, the, the people who know that God do great exploits. And I was like, whoa, okay. And then when you said the, the scripture, none shall lack their mate. I have never heard that scripture. I've never seen it. <laughs> I've never heard it. And so I just thought that, that was huge for me. And then the, the last thing that really, really resonated with me is when you explained. People say I waste my life because 